Hello and welcome, this is Pelorian. I wanted to make a video real quick about a mod that had just come out last night as of this date, so that would have been actually early in the morning on July 16th, 2023. It is Forest Gimp HD TP, or the High Def Texture Packer. Um, I've used this myself real quick, it works really well, but there are some I've noticed in some of the comments of people having issues, and I had a small issue myself, so I thought, you know what, maybe I'll try to make a video real quick that um, maybe can help you guys to visualize how to do it better, yeah, how to do it the proper way. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go to go here. You can either search for Forest Gimp, you can search HDP, High Def, Texture, whatever, or you can go to nexusmods.com slash fallout4 slash mod slash 72919 I will also include a link to it down in the description alright so first thing you do come here click on files I'll manually download we'll download that we'll take it to our desktop you can put it wherever you want folder wise just put it in a folder but it's a manual download this is all done manually Alright, so we'll go out of that, go into our new folder, right click, extract here. I'm gonna give you this. Now, one thing he specifies on his site that I had somewhat done and found out it is very particular, so make sure you do this. Uh, where is it? Extract it to the C drive. Now I, in all my glorious smartness, I put it in my downloads C drive. I think, oh, well that's on C drive. No. That's not good enough. You literally need to go in C drive and drag that sucker, that F04 folder, directly in your C drive. It's the only way I've got it to work. So you put that literally right in your C drive. You can delete it afterwards. This doesn't hurt anything. So you go there, open up your tools, go in here. Now one thing that people have mentioned in the comments, and if down the road he fixes this, don't worry about it, but check this before you get going see here it says forest gimp space HDTP it won't work like that so click it hit F2 or right click and hit rename and then after the word gimp before HDTP put it under slash and that fixes that just a little minor thing nothing huge okay so another thing you're gonna to need to do you're gonna need well actually he has it in there. So, what we're going to do double click on that, go down here to the Forest Gimp HTTP PDF. Click on that, open up. So, you downloaded the PDF, all that. Okay, you extracted that. Next, you need BSA browser. Now, I already have this installed, but I am not going to include links with these because he includes the links in the PDF. So, you can just get them from there. With this one, go to files. Click the first one, not the zip file. You want the first one, the browser. It's going to give you a .exe. Go ahead and install it on your C drive. Make sure it is on your C drive. Install it. And that's good for that. Next, you're going to download Cathedral Asset Optimizer. This one, get the latest one. Um, right now it's version 5.3.15. Whatever it is, he goes 5. Point whatever. Not a 6 version. So, not the beta. This one, the very first one. Click manual download. What I do is I put it straight in the same folder. In fact, actually, to save us having to move it around, new folder. Okay, so we move that C just to go to C. Click F04, tools, CAO, save. Okay. So now you're going to extract it in there. So let's go back, go to CAO working he said we can leave it we can delete it I'm going to delete it there's nothing in there so click this extract here when you're done delete the zip file if you want go back click here again alright so that's good there so the next step we will download and extract all the main files so here's what we're going to do now I'm going to download them I'll just speed up the video or cut to when it's done I'll show you guys the page what you need to get, but I'm not going to see it the whole time. So, flak and oil, come in. He says 2K. Um, 
because I think he also means that he put out another pack for, um, let me go show you real quick. He put out another thing along with this last night for the Saturn X HD Texture Performance BA2s, where it's got every single Saturn X mod included, along with all the fixes. And one is 12.9 gigs, the other is 11.8, so you have to manually download them and install them, because sometimes Nexus is funky with their mod managers, so... Um, but yeah, it's got Saturn X for the mods, and... Kalasaur, I believe that's right, for the fixes. So, should be good to go. So, I think he means for you to pair those together, which I'm trying out. Um, yeah, so, what you do with this, you open up Flocken Oils, Complete Retexture, 2K, hit Manual Download Part 1, when it pops up, you're going to go into your C, F04, Tools, Forest Game HDTP, and where it says Flack and Oil 01, save. Now, click part two. Go back, save in 02. You click part three. Go back, save part three. All right, let all that download. Alright, so while that's downloading, we'll go ahead and cut to the next one. The next one is Langley's HD. So you open that one up by the link. Go to Files, which is that? The first one, just Langley's HD Texture Workshop. Manual download. Go back here, click Langley's. Open, save. Next one is. Come on. Next one is a high resolution texture pack by Valius. For that one, click the 2K version. Back, Valius, you know the drill. It's pretty repetitious here. Just follow the links. NMC's bundle. Click on high, manual download. NMC, save. Almost there, almost done with this. And then Lucid. Click on the Loose. Click back. Click Lucid. Save. All right. All right. So the next step is we're going to be extracting these. It's kind of what he shows here. If you installed it correctly, now make sure, like I said, your BSA is installed on your C drive because what it's going to do. As you go here, now my method of this, to make it a little simpler, because you want to delete the ESPs and it comes in the data, I just open up the file, and I drag the files over. I find it simpler that way, I don't have to worry about moving it out of data, or any of that, I just find it easier. I use WinRAR for moving these files, but I tend, but I use 7-zip personally for packing files, like zipping files. So, whichever you choose, uh, WinRAR, 7-Zip, or there's another one I can't remember. WinZip, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. But either way, whatever your choice, it works for you. Okay, so we got those. Um, what I do to save space, and since we got extracted, I delete it. If you want to keep it as a backup, you can. That's fine. So then here, click on main, right click, it should come up with the BSA browser right here. Then hit extract here. Super simple. I've always been using the um, creation kit one, and it works good, but you gotta choose where you want to extract it. This actually is much simpler, so I like this. Click, extract here. Let it extract it all. All right, and after it's completed, Go ahead and delete that BA2. Saves you space, and after you're done, you don't really need it. You've extracted the files. If you decide to save the zip file, then it's all there for the future, if you ever want to redo it. All right, go to Langley. <clears throat> Langley is loose. Just drag them in. Right, that's done, close that, delete that. 
go to Valius. Data. These are not loose. Copy them over. Right, we'll get NMC's bundle. Right, and lastly, looses, which is loose. So all you gotta do for that is drag textures over. Alright, delete that. Okay. So that's all you have to do. Simple, just a bit repetitive. Go through. If you want to look, it should look like that. Um, it does. So now, for the main BA2, we're going to scoot that over so I can show you. So, what we're going to do here, go back to Forest Gimp HTTP. It has there Forest Gimp HTTP.bot. Click on that. It comes up command prompt. Hit any key. I just hit spacebar. Extract the master seven folders. We did that. Hit it again. You'll see a bunch of stuff flying by. That's a good sign. The issue that I had originally, and apparently a lot of people on the page, is that it came up saying, like, it couldn't find cathedral.exe. Well, I put that under slash in, and I realized, oh, he said put in a C drive. So instead of having it in C drive, um, like the downloads, I moved it directly like I showed you to C drive. Worked great. Okay, so after that, so you're in. Okay, first time, click OK. Set profile here for F04. Hit New. Click OK. Name it whatever you want. I'm naming it Pelorian under slash 85 space F04. Okay, click OK. Which profile use base F04? Okay, all right, that's good there. Click Open Directory. Then you're going to go, it should be mostly there, F04, Tools, and then instead of CAO, you're going to go click on Forest Gimp HD, and that's where they said the issue was with some people is when you download it, it doesn't have this little under slash here, and so it's not actually, it's seeing the path wrong. So you have to put that under slash in, unless, unless he releases an update and fixes that, which he might, but unless he fixes it, you'll have to put it in manually, otherwise it will not read it. So click that, click Combine Files, select Folder. That's going to be where it extracts to. Next, click Show Advanced Settings, click OK. And then in there, you're going to click on, on the BSA tab here. You will click Create BSA, Delete Backups, Allow Compression, which should be selected manually, Separate Texture BSAs, which should be checked, and then down here in Maximum Size, you're going to put 13. All right, and then, see he has a thing here for visually. I just know sometimes people, like myself, I learn a little better through watching. I can do the text, but I learn quicker and better through watching. So, figured I'd go ahead and make this to show you. So, yep, click all that, set that to 13. And then down here in Textures, click on the Textures tab. Make sure Necessary Optimization is checked, and click on Generate MIP Maps. Fun word there. All right, so after you're done with that, make sure everything's checked right, click Run. It'll come up down here, give you a bar, let you know processing files, and then when it's done. For me, it only, see now it's packing. But for me, it didn't take very long. I'm also running a 5800X3D processor, which is not the greatest at packing, but it's better. I had a 5600X before, so it's definitely faster. So yep, just wait on that to get done. Some people take longer, some people less. Just depends. All right, it'll say done. You'll see a full green bar, say done. Shut that down, click the key again. It says go to the folder, click it again. It'll close out for you. Now, in the folder where you're at with the Forest GIMP HDP, go to Combine Files. You'll see your main in your textures and that. So, what he says here, you take, because the data already has the dummy file there. So take this and this, select your main and textures, drag it into your data folder. Right click on your data folder. Now see I use 7-zip to add to. You can also use add to data.rar if you're doing WinRAR. I just, I've heard and see myself, I think 7-zip seems to zip a little bit faster, a little better. So my personal preference. Oh, 
All right, and that's it. And the last thing he says to rename it, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I named it Forest Gimp HDTP. Just so I know what it is, so I know it's his texture bag. You can name it whatever, but there you go. Open it up. Data, your main, your textures, all that. You're good to go. And that's it. It's that simple. So, um, I'll go ahead and try to get this together quick and get it up. Maybe um, he could throw a link up there for people, but I will definitely try to get this up as soon as I can to help you guys out with something that I kind of struggled with at first, and hopefully it will help some other people with getting this together good. Alright, this is Pelorian out.